explain different phase transformations in TTT curve. With the help of TTT curve, we have studied that whenever temperature of steel reduces, the phase transformation takes place from austenite to pearlite, bainite to martensite. Now let's study each of the three transformations. Austenite to pearlite transformation. When the temperature of preheated steel reduces to lower critical temperature, the austenite loses its existence. Pearlite is formed at that stage. The transformation starts by formation of cementite crystal nuclei at austenite grain boundaries. Carbon diffuses from surrounding austenite to the cementite and growth of carbide begins. As carbon diffuses, the adjacent austenite depletes in carbon and transforms to ferrite. Nucleation and growth of alternate plates of cementite and ferrite occur at several points along the austenite grain boundaries. This forms pearlite areas which are approximately hemispherical regions. Austenite to bainite transformation. Bainite is formed directly from the austenite on isothermal transformation. In simple words, we can say that when heated steel is cooled rapidly to a temperature below the nose of the curve and held isothermally at that temperature, bainite is formed. Similar to pearlite, bainite is a fine and intimate mixture of ferrite and cementite. Bainite has feathery appearance at higher temperatures of formation and sharply acircular appearance at lower temperatures of formation. Austenite to martensite transformation. Martensite is obtained by rapid cooling of austenite to avoid the nose of TTT curve. The critical temperature below which martensite formation takes place is the martensitic temperature. The austenite to martensite transformation occurs as platelets. Each of the plates is formed in a very short span of time. When viewed under a microscope, the platelets of martensite appear as acicular shaped. Thus, we can summarize as